Hey everyone, it's Space Junkie transmitting from Hamburg, Germany. Uh, we are not in my place, as you can see, we're at Hamburg Central. We're gonna travel this weekend. Right now I'm supposed to catch my train at 11.01 from Hamburg to Würzburg. And then I'm gonna go to Erlangen to play at the Hannover Fair event uh, tonight. I haven't played at the EBAC for nine years now, so it's a big return from like 2009 to 2018. And then tomorrow, we're gonna head to Berlin to play at the Elastica party at the Maze, which is like a fetish uh, latex uh, BDSM event, like uh, more like a party and not like a uh, well proper sex event, I guess. And then we're gonna travel back to Hamburg. So this is the journey for this weekend. And uh, I'm not too sure if we can film at the uh, Berlin at the party, but definitely we will be able to film at the event tonight. And uh, we'll see how the journey goes for sure. And well, I'm pretty curious how this journey turns out, the journey to Erlangen, because uh, in Würzburg I only got like six minutes to, to change trains, so I gotta rely on the Deutsche Bahn being punctual, which doesn't happen so often. A friend of mine visited Hamburg last weekend, and uh, when she returned back to Hamburg on Sunday, her like original train from Hamburg to where she's gonna go, well, to, to Würzburg as well, had like a 55 minutes delay so uh, I'm very curious if I'm gonna make it in time or not if not there will be trains like running from Würzburg to Erlangen like every 20 minutes I guess so I won't be too late and uh, but I hope this works out because like traveling Deutsche Bahn is like fucking expensive even with a Bahn card 50 I paid like 170 euro for for the whole weekend for the whole trip which is like 300 40 if you uh, paid full price so I expect punctuality and like proper service but we'll see how this turns out. Well I made it, caught my train, even managed to, to find me a seat which is nice so uh, I don't have to, to stand in at the train or in the train for like three and a half hours but still people are weird. I just got a message on Instagram from a guy, a I guess Polish or Czechoslovakian guy who used to be like a customer every now and then at the record store I work at and I invited him once to my radio show um, like 14 years ago and uh, we knew each other briefly from the store but we weren't friends or like working together or whatever and now he found me on Instagram saw that I'm still DJing and he was like a modern day vampire like sending me a message and asked like well guy are you interested in working together and I was like well no not really and uh, working together like we haven't spoken in like more than a decade and uh, I guess what he wanted is like he, he lives in Germany again and uh, he wants me and he asked me to set him up with a with a club I work for or like a play at and uh, he was asking me basically well are you interested in organizing gigs from me um, and without getting anything back and uh, I hate that I hate people like that because uh, I've been working with so many newcomers uh, back back in the day over the years and actually you don't get anything back if you help people out and uh, but I was like very baffled that that guy um, even considered to ask me to to work for him or like set him up with shows even Oh, especially after not having talked with each other or to each other like in a decade and uh, even without offering like any help back or like okay I'm setting up like or he was like well, he wasn't like I'm setting up shows in my town and I want to book you and I want to book you like a few times and can you organize something for me but it was like a straight away hey I'm back please help me out and uh, to people like that, fuck off, don't do that because it sucks and it just, um, it's just a waste of time because uh, I decided years ago I work with people on my level or higher, like people who have like a vision musically and uh, in their life and artistically and not, basically I will not help any newcomers out anymore because I've done that for years and that doesn't make sense at all. Well, did I say that uh, I'm very skeptical that we're gonna reach my connection train in Würzburg? Right now we haven't reached our first official stop yet, which is Hanover. Where we should arrive at like 12.25 and we have already like a delay of like 20 minutes. So I guess the delay will like accumulate and uh, I'm gonna miss my connection train 
from Würzburg to Erlangen for sure, and uh, I'm pretty curious when I'm gonna arrive there. But uh, if anyone from the Deutsche Bahn company watches this video, like fuck you all, you're like an inner company for sure. Well, still on my way, and actually, uh, as presumed, the delay is accumulating. Uh, instead of like 20 minutes delay, we are now at 32 minutes. I was supposed to be in Würzburg in like 23 minutes, but uh, it doesn't happen, so it will take me an hour from now on. So we'll see how this goes. But uh, I'm having like a little fight on Twitter with the uh, Deutsche Bahn service people because I think it's ridiculous that like in almost every train trip like journey I have, I experience delays like that. So. Uh, that does make sense to me, especially if the prices are raised like every year. So the company should sort these things out for sure, like quickly. Okay, what an adventure! We arrived in Würzburg finally, and now I'm waiting for my next connection train at 3:04 to wherever. And then I got to change to to Nuremberg, and then I got to change to Erlangen. And uh, well, this is how it looks like here. Definitely not that pretty, I guess. The overwhelming beauty of German train stations. German Tristesse par excellence, I guess. Final train for today. Guess we're gonna arrive at 16.25. An adventurous journey. I hope tomorrow will be like without any complications when I travel from Erlangen to Berlin. Erlangen finally arrived at the train station, which looks pretty old and sweet. And now I'm gonna find my way to the club, which is like two kilometers, like uh, two kilometers walk. It's a little bit rainy, but I guess uh, this will be fine. And uh, I'm gonna see some some bits of the city. So seemingly, I took the wrong turn, but I was relying on Google Maps and. Uh, I walked all the streets down and now I'm like close to a cemetery and I hope I won't end here but uh, I presume behind this wall is the street where the evac is and I have to, to take this turn over there so uh, I guess it takes me like five minutes to arrive in the club right now I need to capture this because this sign which says Hühnertod in German does mean chicken death in English and I don't have any clue what this means but it like weirds me out. So I've seen this logo before that does mean I have arrived and now I will find my contact Biene which is with the booker and uh, we'll see what, what's the plan for, for the next hours I guess. Sound check! Okay, here we go. On my way to the hotel, had a super nice uh, pulled pork burger at the Evac because they, they serve food as well and stuff. And a super nice chat and a nice club. Looking forward to the party. Soundcheck is went well as well. So and now I'm strolling through the streets and uh, try to find my hotel and uh, try to find back a little later. Yay! Arrived at the hotel. Small but cozy. One bedroom, a not so spectacular view, I guess, and a lot of shadows, and a little bathroom. Not super luxurious, but who needs that when you stay in a hotel for like only a few hours of sleep after a show, so definitely nice, burgers were nice, uh, chat was nice, and I'm pretty much looking forward to, to play the show. They expect like a sweet little crowd and I'm uh, very, very looking forward to play techno again and stuff and to, to rock the crowd and uh, 
you will see more of that in a bit. So this is your typical contemplative before the show at the hotel room shot, I guess. Uh, and I'm wondering kind of what or how do people like spend their times in hotel rooms when they're like on business trips and stuff. And uh, well, there is a TV here, but uh, like to stay in a hotel room just on your own for other reasons than sleep uh, is no concept I could really embrace. Like uh, spending holidays in a hotel or some something like that is not not my thing, definitely. And I totally love to travel. I totally love hotels. Uh, when I travel, when I play out, but uh, the thought of uh, spending uh, like whole holidays in a kind of confined space and using this confined space as a like quote unquote home base for a city trip or whatever is is definitely not what comes to mind for me and i'm still thinking about that guy who sent me that mail i was talking about earlier when i was uh, traveling on the train like how can someone who has not been speaking to you and someone who had you had totally forgotten about for reasons uh, can be so kind of self focused and uh, think that he's uh, that important that you would like after not speaking to, to someone for 14 years or at least over 10 years uh, that you be like up for setting up shows for someone without getting anything back and uh, well artists and DJs disappear for a while and then they start from scratch and usually they are not missed and I guess I don't know if that guy had a big career where he, he came from or like definitely he hadn't had a big career in Hamburg when he lived here so uh, I don't know if he, those people are thinking that the world is waiting for them or why they think that they could get help to, to land a show and they very like uh, hip or like very established club from coming from nothing. I'm still a little bit baffled about that idea that guy had and uh, do you hear that? That was the church bell. And this is a thing that it was like ringing three times or like chiming three times. And so it's like a three quarters to, to nine, I guess. Maybe to 10 to nine, I guess. And uh, this is definitely a sign that you're in Southern Germany because they're very religious, Catholic people mostly and church bells do ring all the time in this area of Germany, in this, in the South area. And uh, yeah, it's just a fun side note. And now I will relax for a bit and like maybe read a few mails, write a few mails and uh, then head back to the club for the Heart of a Fair show with three local DJs. And I guess my playtime will be like 1.30 to 3.30. So uh, we'll see how that goes. And I'm looking forward to that for sure. And now back to the club. So I decided to go out for a little walk before I maybe eat another burger before the show and uh, well this is Erlangen, a little bit of it and like to, I'd like to have a look like on what the city looks like and feels like and here's a beautiful old church, I don't know if you can see this, like a big tower, like, like a local restaurant or something like that. And I will like walk a few steps and maybe like show you the church from the from the right side or from the front side and uh, head back to the club in a bit, I guess. There's also a little bit of the city. Not too much to see, I guess. But here's the, the tower again. Like a cozy old town. So here's the poster for tonight. 
they did a web flyer and in the garden what you can hear there's like a singer songwriter going on and I'm hanging out party's about to start in one and a half hours I'm gonna play from 1.30 to 3.30 so uh, we'll see I'm looking forward as I said, and definitely uh, I've planned like to open with a big surprise, going back to the very 90s. Shoutouts to my man Freddie Fresh, who has like his track Fantasia and Return to the Fan and Return to Fantasia re-released in the like past month by the French Toolbox label. So this is gonna be my starter, like trance before trance was trance actually. <laughs> was Erlangen, uh, played for one and a half hours, uh, not that packed unfortunately because all the students are gone and stuff and uh, their university starts in a few weeks so uh, like there's in a city of 100,000 there were like 35,000 people missing but anyway I had a good time I guess the promoters liked the stuff I played, uh, we're kind of impressed with new wise and skill wise so everything's good from my side and now uh, in an hour we're heading to the hotel and tomorrow we're going to go to Berlin. So see you in the next one.